came here. Over here, right here. What's the lions, the eight man bodies on the floor. Yeah, over here. Nine bodies. So what they done? Look, they closed that bit up there. They, 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 look, they're hiding stuff, bro. They're hiding stuff. You know why? I've got a friend who works for the fire brigade here in Labour Grove, yeah? Yesterday on the phone, he said they found about 42 bodies in one room, all hiding together. No one knows yeah. that. It's only because yeah. we know the brother, he's a fireman, yeah, fireman. That, he, that he told us this. But he can't one, tell you, yeah, yeah. He can't tell you, he yeah, can't, can't come out and tell you, you look that. So I'm saying, he can't come out because yeah. you'll probably get the suck or something. Yeah. But they said they found 42 bodies one in one room, bro. In one room, from children to old people. Do you understand? But they're not going to tell you that. Look, I'll tell you this straight, yeah? There's about, there's about 42 families that we know that live in there that have gone. So imagine the rest. And these are because we know them because they're Moroccan. Yeah, we know them, yeah. Because they're Moroccan yeah. like us. That's why we know them. You they know come to the youth, youth centre. Yeah, they come to the, the kids come to the youth centre and yeah. the families come to the mosques. And that. that's why we know. But they're not letting you, they're not telling you all that. They're not telling you the truth. They're not telling you the but truth. But you know what they said? And that's the, that's the worst thing about it, not having the they truth. Said, everyone there, no one, no one died by getting burned. Everyone died first because of the smoke inhaling the smoke. We've got one of our uh, 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 family, the girl, she, they rang her out, they took her to, her to the hospital, she's in a coma, yeah, because of the smoke. One of them, they started uh, blood coming out from her nose. Yeah, blood coming out from her nose. If you, don't want, if you don't want the real story, you have to go to the people that live here and know people here. Who's here in the beginning? Do you understand? You've got, go to the people, you've got to go to the people that were coming out of the mosque and running up the building and the police stopping them from going up the building. And yet they still went up there and got people out. Do you understand? There was disabled people. There's disabled people on, on the high, on the highest floors. You need to know when people they like live here. When we ran out the guy, the, the disabled guy, when we ran the disabled guy, what's good? It was him, his wife, and his three kids. He came out. He came out. He was disabled. He said, "I don't know how I made it from the other floor." He came out. We took him to the rugby club. After that, they put him in a hotel. Put him in a hotel. We went to see him in the hotel. He said they've given us no food, no water, no clothes, no time, nothing for two days until we went there and we gave him. Do you want to hear something? Do you want to hear something charity? else funny? You know the water on the top floor stopped working. There was no water on the top floors. You yeah. know, you know that because why? Everyone's trying to open water to wet up the towels. Wet up the towels. Because yeah. Because everyone's doing it. There was no water coming to the top. Yeah. So people had no water at the top. You open the taps and there was no water coming out. Everyone was saying it. You got look. For you to get the proper and the real stories, you must go to the people that live here. Do you understand? And know people Not that the BBC and Sky. No, yeah, they're forget lying. that. They're, they're lying. lying. Honest to God, I swear they're lying. Because I've been watching it on the news. Who's there in the beginning? Do you understand? And what they're saying on the news and what you're seeing down here. Two different things. Two different stories. Right. Two different things. It's two different stories. You've got to go to the people that live here or have their families and loved ones that have been lost in there. You understand? They're the people that are going to tell you the truth because the rest ain't going to tell you the truth. They don't even know what's going on half of the people. Don't get me wrong, they just come for their condolences and all that. We appreciate that. But you've got to speak to the people who've lost family in there and friends and loved ones. You know what I mean? That's the people you've got to speak to. Look, private ambulance, you know what that means, isn't it? Look, there's a private, you know what that, that's, that's a coroner, you know what that is. That's the coroner's ambulance. Do you understand? They're not telling you how many people really And what they said now, what's going to be left? There's only bones. It's going to be what's going to take a long time to investigate what's good, who's the person and stuff like that. Yeah, identify. And they're telling me for two pounds, for two pounds extra, which would have cost five thousand pounds all in total for the new cladding, for, for, for fire resistant cladding, for the whole building, just an extra five thousand pounds. And you know, to put a sprinkler system in, it would have cost two hundred grand. They gave them ten million to do that. So, and they only spent eight, eight million or something like that. So where's the two million go? Someone's pocket. Listen, like we know said, what the world's building, like, If this building here was in Chelsea or Knightsbridge, it would have never a different happened. situation. Never if happened. this same building here was in Canary Wolf, I'm happened. sure, and you lot know, because poor people live they could have went out like that. They would have put the cladding people. What's good in the Canary Wolf like that, definitely. Not Canary Wolf, not Chelsea, not Knightsbridge. I see a picture over there of a helicopter here. Honest to God, a helicopter. It's not, he said it's not here in this city. There's a helicopter with water coming out of it. Why wasn't it used here? Why wasn't it used here? We're in London, bruv. This is London, you know? And we've got helicopters with water coming down. you got, you got a fireman and he's spraying, he's spraying and it's not even reaching half of it. Nothing, it was, it was reaching a joke. nothing. It was, it was a joke. There. It was it was a joke. If you would have seen it, yeah. you, you would have been... It's got to be more than this. You need more than this. We're in the UK, equipment. man. We're in the UK. Come on, man. And in London, bro. And in the richest borough in the UK. In now, Europe, they said Europe. This is the richest borough Let me tell you Europe. about something about this borough. This borough here, if you're broke, if you ain't got enough money, this is what they do to you. Like what they've done to us. They ship you out to Barking and Dagenham and outside Ilford and them places there. You understand? That's what they do. At the moment, this is my borough, but I don't even live in this borough. Because they ship me out. Yeah, they're getting all the poor people out of here. That's what they do, bro. That's what they do. Because we can't pay. We, we need the subsidies to pay for the rent. 
Do you understand? We need government subsidies to pay for the rent because that we're them type of people in it. They said that building was an eyesore. My whole life I lived here, bruv. It wasn't an eyesore to me. I never saw it as an eyesore. We played here football all my life in the West Way and that. That was not eyesore. They made it look nice for the rich people when they drive past. It don't have to be a sore in the eye, you understand? And that's not fair. And another